The fact that a white walker appears in Demon's vision is noteworthy and strengthens the theory that Daenerys is the prince who was promised. He perceives the enormous danger facing Westeros and the Targaryen who will vanquish it. That is questionable, of course, given Dany didn't defeat the Night King or take the Iron Throne, but that does appear to be the connection the vision is drawing. It is also connected to the Song of Fire and Ice in the dream of Egon the Conqueror, which predicted the impending darkness that would wipe out everything. Or, more accurately, the White Walkers. This brings to Demon's attention the realization that the prophecy is accurate and that, as he would later declare in High Valyrian, winter is coming. In an attempt to bring the realm together, Egon's dream has only helped to further split it, severing House Targaryen and weakening both the family and Westeros as a whole. This concerns not only the future but also the here and now, part of the reason Rhaenyra wages her war is that she thinks she is the one who is fated to lead the realm, who is ready to face this threat, and who can bring everyone together. However, this brings with it the terrible irony of attempting to carry out a prophecy, Egon's dream, which seeks to bring the kingdom together, has only helped to further split it, severing House Targaryen and weakening both the family and Westeros as a whole. In the vision, the White Walker furthers that cause and guarantees that even greater costs will be incurred. Whether Demon's image of the White Walker is intended to be the Night King or not is unclear. From a contextual standpoint, that would make perfect sense, he is commanding an army of the dead, and the scene then shifts to the Ice and Fire, who are predicted to lead Westeros against them. However, it doesn't resemble the Night King from Game of Thrones in terms of appearance, and at most, it gives off the impression that we have the Night King at home. If it's simply a White Walker, I believe it works, but I can't say for sure. Though we've previously seen White Walkers with wispy hair, these tresses are unquestionably more Targaryen-like. The fact that this White Walker had silver blonde hair raises an intriguing question regarding whether the Night King was a Targaryen. As far as we know, the answer to that is a resounding no, the man who the children of the forest transformed into the Night King existed thousands of years before the Targaryens did, and he certainly didn't look like one. That is probably a highly conscious decision, but why make it if it's not because the Night King is a Targaryen? The solution might have something to do with Egon's dream and House Targaryen's demise. Not only does it represent the impending danger that was foretold, but it also emphasizes how dangerous the Targaryens are to themselves, having devastated Westeros and themselves as a result of a White Walker dream. I hope you enjoyed these theories. I'll post more soon. Thanks for viewing. Watch out for the next shocking surprise.